Hey, what's up, Dividend Investors? Have you ever wondered what to put your money in? You don't really know what you're going to hold forever. Well, some of the stocks we're going to talk about today on my channel are three dividend stocks that I plan on holding forever and ever. Guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into these stocks. There's three of them that I'm buying and holding forever. Let's go ahead and discuss them. All right, guys, the first one we're going to be talking about today is Ford. Let's look at our Ford stock. I'm currently holding, I think, 200 of these, 200 Ford stocks. So it's currently trading at $12.21. Let's go ahead and look at the dividend. Well, let's look at the five-year chart real quick, guys. See why I want to hold this. We got a good spike over here. That was in January 20, January 17, 2022, but I think everything was spiking at that time, guys. Don't worry about that. They're not really climbing too much. Let's look five years. They were like around $10 five years ago, but now they're at $12 like we talked about. Let's look at their dividends. Let's check out their dividends. Show more. Show more on the dividends, guys. So we go back to 2016. Dividend, we have a dividend here, dividend here, dividend here. 2020, we had a little dividend. 2021 dividend, 22 dividend, 2023, a dividend and a special dividend of 65 cents per share. That's not bad. Let's look at the actual annual dividend yield. That's 4.88, every quarter. So let's also look at payout ratio, 116%. Dividend coverage ratio, 85.71%. Five-year dividend yield average, 3.57%. It's really not bad. Just hold it forever. Do you, do you really think Ford's going anywhere? Do you really think that Ford's just going to go under and cease to exist and it's going to disappear? I don't think so. Three-year growth rate, 58.7%. That's pretty good. Let's go up here to the top and see what see what they're talking about for Ford. Let's look at the ratings. We got Morningstar, gives it four stars. We got a B from Schwab Equity rating out of uh, A, B, C, D, and F. We got a B. What does the business summary do? What does Ford do? Well, they make vehicles. Ford Motor Company develops, delivers, and services a range of Ford trucks, commercial cars, and vans for utility vehicles, and Lincoln luxury vehicles worldwide. It operates through Ford Blue, Ford Model E, Ford Pro, Ford Next, and Ford Credit Segments. We don't, I don't really care about any of that. The company sells Ford and Lincoln, Lincoln vehicles, service parts, and accessories through distributors and dealers. So everyone, pretty much everyone in the world knows what Ford is, right? So they're probably not going anywhere anytime soon. Market cap, large cap. $48.88 billion. They got 3.97 billion shares outstanding. Shares held by institutions, 54.35% of those shares are held by large institutions. Enterprise value, $157.96 billion. So that's, you know, that's one of the shares that I'm, or that's one of the companies I plan on holding their shares forever. I currently have, how many do I have? I think I have 200. I want to get that number up though. We're going to pump those numbers up. Yeah, I have 200. I have 200 shares of those. Let's go to uh, stock number two, guys, that I plan on keeping forever and ever. Waste management. Why do we want to hold waste management forever? Why do we want to hold waste management forever? Well, because everyone has to get their trash taken out, right? Everyone has to do it. They come by your house, they pick your trash up, they take it to the dump or landfill, whatever recycling thing whatever they do so uh, you have to get your trash taken out so they're gonna be here why wouldn't they be here let's look at this five-year chart of waste management look at that guys way down here five years 100 bucks 98 bucks where are they at now yeah they're at a 203 dollars they're up 101 percent guys in five years how is that not amazing they got a b for ratings on schwab a for msci morningstar gave them a one though i don't know why they would give them a one i don't know Got outstanding, we got four stars, we got five. Let's look at their dividends. Let's see what we got for the dividends. So they've been been cranking out some dividends ever since at least 2016. That's what we got on here. Dividend, 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 up, 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 dividend is growing. Annual dividend yield is not high, but the more you invest, the more you get, right? The more you invest, the more you get. Continues to grow and grow and grow. Compound interest. 
pretty simple there. So 1.39 annual dividend, but like we know, it's already doubled in price in five years. So who knows what five years from now will do to it. Five year dividend uh, yield average, 1.65. The three year growth rate is 8.7%. Five year growth rate, 8.5. So like I said, waste management, they come pick up your trash, right? Take it somewhere. Let's read what this says here. Company profile was managing through subsidiaries and engages in the provision of environmental solutions to residential, commercial, industrial, and municipal customers in the United States and Canada. It offers collection services, including picking up and transporting waste and recyclable materials from where it is generated to a transfer station, materials, or transfer station, material recovery facility, MRF, or disposable site. So that's what everyone does. That's what you got, you got to get your trash taken out, guys. Why would they go anywhere? Got to get your trash taken out. Let's go back. Let's look at this stock number three. I just started purchasing stock number three in my account here. So it is Walmart. Let's see what they say about Walmart, guys. Walmart Inc. engages in the operation of retail, wholesale, and other units worldwide. The company operates through three segments, Walmart U.S., Walmart National, and Sam's Club. It operates supercenters, supermarkets, hypermarkets, warehouse clubs, cash and carry stores, and discount stores under Walmart and Walmart neighborhood market brands. See? And they also have gas stations at their place. They got baby care, pet supplies. They got all. If you don't know what Walmart is, you're missing out. Missing out big. Let's look at the five-year chart. Well, they're up 83% in five years. Wow, whoa, 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 guys. 83%, guys. So their dividends. Show more on dividends. So cranking out those dividends every single year. So if someone's saying something, uh, I don't know, somewhere on the internet that Walmart's going to be doing a split, a uh, share split. So we'll see what happens. Annual dividend rate or average annual Annual dividend yield, 1.34%. And their growth rate, their growth rate really isn't high. 1.9%. But they are growing. Their dividends continue to grow. Their stock continues to grow. So if I hold this, I'm 42 now. I hold it to I'm 60. Should be huge. Huge numbers, guys. Huge numbers. I need to get more. I need to get more of these. Any more of these shares. Like I said, five years. Let's go back to that five-year chart. 83.7%. So even if it goes up 50% in five years from now, that's 10% every single year that the stock is growing. You never know, guys. You never know. Whoa, I've been on here for nine minutes already talking about these three stocks. Let's go back. Let's see what else. Those are three stocks I plan on holding. Definitely not going to get up, get rid of my VOO, but that's a different video altogether. So here's my stuff. Right here, that's what we do. We talk about dividends. I show you exactly what I have. I'm not a financial advisor. This is what I do. I'm showing you this for your entertainment purposes only. Show you that you can actually do it. You can get it done. You just have to do it. So there's my account. There's all the money I got in my account, what I plan on holding forever and ever and ever for my financial freedom. I have to look, I have to look for myself. For my financial freedom, because I know no one else is going to do it for me. No one's going to come save me. No one's going to hold my hand and pay my way when I'm 60 years old. No one's going to be there for me but myself. So I have to do this for me. Make sure I invest. I do $500 a week. I know it's a lot of money for a lot of y'all, but, you know, start at $25. $10, bucks, $20, bucks, uh, 50 bucks, whatever. Invest in what, uh, what you think is best for you. If you just want to get fat dividends every month. Hmm. and never reinvest and that's up to you guys well i sure do appreciate you stopping by my channel guys uh, i'll ask you to give me two thumbs up and uh subscribe right down there all right i'm out of here peace